allegedly it hit back here somewhere. Joe Paris told me the moment that he saw a lawsuit filed in connection with his son throwing this baseball helmet in the air in celebration, he was dumbfounded. I actually thought it was a joke at first. You didn't think he was serious? No. And now? And now I think it's absurd. In this court summons, Paris found out his 14 year old son, who his dad asked us not to name, is being sued by his former Little League baseball coach, chiropractor Alan Beck, for what Beck said the boy did during a game. The boy's dad said his son was on second base in the last inning when his teammate hit the game winning hit. As his son came around to score, the dad says he threw his helmet into the air. That's when the boy's own coach said in court papers that the helmet hit him on the ankle, severing his Achilles tendon. That coach now asking for over $500,000 from the 14 year old and his parents for pain and suffering, lost wages, and medical bills. He's not going to want to do anything today. When I finally did contact Alan Beck this afternoon, he said he couldn't comment until he gets the okay from his attorney. It's absolutely ridiculous. But at the field where this happened, a former coach and his son openly questioned what basis a teenager could be held liable. One, there was no intent. Legal expert Bill Portanova, who looked at the legal filing, agreed that this is going to be a tough case to prove in a sport where bats, balls, even helmets, fly around during every game. And there's a good chance that whoever responds to this lawsuit will be able to get it dismissed on the issue that the plaintiff in this case willfully signed on to potential contact because baseball is a contact sport. Mike Tassell reporting there. Now, Mike also reports that the boy's father said that he has already paid over $4,000 in legal bills to respond to this lawsuit, a lawsuit that a judge will see for the first time in a couple of months.